A joint award was given this past weekend to Kathleen Kennedy and George Lucas, but one of them probably didn't really deserve it. Let's find out on this episode of Out Loud Geek. Welcome to another episode of Out Loud Geek, where we discuss science fiction, fantasy, cooking, the outdoors, and more. On March 19th, 2022, which was this past Saturday, the 33rd annual Producers Guild Awards occurred at the Century Plaza Hotel in Los Angeles, California. During the awards, Steven Spielberg presented a joint 2022 Milestone Award to Lucasfilm leaders George Lucas and Kathleen Kennedy. During her acceptance speech, Kathleen Kennedy said, Stephen, George, and I met at the dawning of a new age in motion picture history, and we worked side by side through one revolution in our industry after another. Revolutions not only in the means of movie making and in the ways movies reach audiences, but also in the composition of our business. As women, artists of color, LGBTQ, and differently labeled artists and producers who have fought for and won a place at the table, propelling our community toward a more inclusive, diverse, richer, more sophisticated, and nuanced sense of responsibilities for social, racial, and economic justice. While all of her virtue signaling sounded good, how does Kathleen Kennedy explain her treatment of actor John Boyega and his character of Finn in the Star Wars sequel trilogy? When movie posters for Star Wars 7 The Force Awakens came out in 2015, John Boyega as Finn was prominently featured. However, that wasn't the case in China, where he and his character were significantly smaller in movie posters because Chinese audiences apparently don't like people of color. Kathleen Kennedy's claim to promoting social justice apparently doesn't apply to China, where box office receipts took a significantly higher priority. And that wasn't the end of this obvious hypocrisy, because as soon as Star Wars 8 The Last Jedi came out in 2017, John Boyega's character of Finn wasn't even a major character anymore. Instead, he was relegated to being a minor, secondary character, as well as comic relief. Further, in most of the scenes that included Finn, he was teamed with the new Asian-inspired character of Rose Tico, who was portrayed by actress Kelly Marie Tran in what was a clear attempt to make Finn more palatable to racist Chinese audiences. Unfortunately, due to Ryan Johnson's poor screenplay writing, the character of Rose Tico wasn't well received by fans. So much so that in the third and final sequel trilogy film, Star Wars 9 The Rise of Skywalker, the character had hardly any screen time at all and very few lines. In The Rise of Skywalker, John Boyega's character of Finn fared no better than in The Last Jedi. He continued to be nothing more than a minor secondary character, and his most memorable contributions to the film were him periodically yelling Ray's name throughout the film. So Kathleen Kennedy's self-righteous claims of promoting social and racial justice doesn't actually match the reality of her tenure as the head of Lucasfilm. The other award recipient, George Lucas, thanked his former mentor, Francis Ford Coppola, before giving an impassioned speech about a producer's role in filmmaking, saying... To me, that's the first and foremost job of a producer, which is to do the impossible. And you do it every single day. And then every single day, something comes along to destroy everything you've done. And you have to pick it up at lunch and figure out a new way to finish the movie in conjunction with the director, and it's daunting to say the least. But a producer never works alone. One, you have to have a great crew. I've always had the best crews. I couldn't have done it without them. And so I think my job is to gather them all together and inspire them to be the best that they can be. Throughout his long career in film production, 
George Lucas was always most interested in telling a good story. Conversely, Kathleen Kennedy has repeatedly demonstrated that she has been far more interested in using films to promote her political messages at the expense of the stories. And when it came to George Lucas's Star Wars legacy, Kathleen Kennedy, who had claimed during a 2012 interview with George sitting right next to her, that she was going to protect his legacy. Instead, she used the sequel trilogy to undo much of what George Lucas had done because his stories and characters didn't fit in with her political preferences. The result of Kathleen Kennedy's retconning of George Lucas's original Star Wars trilogy and his prequel trilogy not only created large divisions within the fandom, it destroyed most of the key plot elements of those trilogies, and she used her leadership at Lucasfilm to accomplish this. While George Lucas certainly deserved being awarded, Kathleen Kennedy did not. She has done more to harm Lucasfilm than anyone. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please press the like button below. And if you'd like to see more of our videos in the future, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the red subscribe button. And please feel free to leave a comment. Until next time, this is Out Loud Geek.